TMP. So, yeah, we're always just going to be like right here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to load each other's gun. We don't know what shells we actually have. All right. And we're going to shoot some targets between the 1300s and the 1250s, which we're all pretty used to the 1300s. We haven't shot a whole lot of the 1250s yet. And let's see what we feel about the difference. All right. I'm not eyes. looking. Don't look. I'm not Don't looking. Look. Are they loaded? All right, so we're gonna shoot this crossing target over here on the left. Trapper ready? Ready. Pull. Pull. All right. All right. Give me your gun. I won't look, Nick. You just hand it to me. I won't look. Yeah, cool. All right, Dan, same target? Yes, sir. Paul. Paul. Nice. You ready? Yes, you will. Cross me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, interesting. The top was 1250, bottom was 1300. I didn't feel a ton of difference as far as like the speed out there at the target, but I could definitely feel the 1250 was lighter, was smoother, there was less, you know. You had a good break on both of them. Really good break on both yeah. of them. Smoked them yeah. basically the same. Same chokes. Same chokes, same everything. So just a little smoother? A little smoother, yeah. Um, I think my eyes could actually stay on the target just a hair better. Nice. Okay. So. Was the 1250 the second shot? Yes, that's right. I, I agree. Um, I'm, I'm very well acquainted with the 1300, and when it went off on the first shot, it felt, it felt like it normally feels. Yeah. And not that I get a lot of push or anything with the 1300, but the, the 1250, I have to agree. I think the word is smooth. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really do. Yeah. Did you have a little less muzzle jump on the second one? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah, smooth. Less muzzle jump. I mean, <clears throat> obviously the 1300 is a great shell, um, and a lot of people like that speed. Right. For me though, after taking a year off, coming back and just getting into these 1250s, it's it's helping me stay on the target a little better, I think. So. And, and I can't help think for an over and under shooter, this is really going to be a great shell. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Right. I just tried both 1300 and 1250. The record is like really really soft for both there's a slight difference the 1250 kicks a bit less it's pretty hard to tell like just shooting regularly if you shoot twice the same target you can really see it and I think on the long run you'll probably get get less tired and you know people who are recoil sensitive are probably gonna be very happy with this 1250 because it's like it kicks like a basically less than 1200 feet per second shell uh, so great product all right joe we're gonna let you load but we're not gonna let you know what shell all right, it is all right good. sound good here's yeah. your first one and your second all right Shoot the bee bird from the right? Yes, bee bird sir. from the right. On your call, Joe. Oh. Oh. Mm. Okay, so got good breaks on both targets. Both gave him the same sight picture. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, personally, I felt a little less muzzle jump on the second uh, shell. So I believe that might have been the 1250. That's awesome. Um, felt a little less push here on my shoulder. And I think that could be critical for a lot of people um, shooting, especially pairs, going from the first to the second, a little less muzzle jump. And it uh, felt really good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel the same way when I shoot the 1250s. Like, mm -hmm. just that little less muzzle jump, I think. In the long run, especially, like if I could get my mind to really lock in on that 1250, I think you're going to be able to practice more with less recoil on your shoulder and on your face. And then in the long run, you know, I've been shooting this game 24 years now. And um, I think if you can get away from recoil, it's a positive thing. So. And even with the 1300, it was still felt really soft because of the Gordon hole. But yeah. the 1250 was even lighter. Yeah. I agree with you, the recoil, recoil is very sneaky and it will take targets from you and um, <clears throat> overall the shell is going to be great for everyone but I really think it's going to be great for the ladies also. Oh yeah. Especially coming out of an over and under. Yeah, yeah you know um, I've got a student that <clears throat> shoots a lot of the Comp 1 1160s mm -hmm. which is obviously a really light recoiling shell and I've tried it and it it feels like a 28 gauge out of a 12 gauge, but the I think the the ladies that really want to compete at the highest level, the one ounce 1250 F2 mock is yeah. probably going to be Perfect. the way to go. Yeah. Um, and juniors, and I mean really everybody, you know, 1300 is is a speed that a lot of people do like because you know that the shot's going to get there. But um, you know, the science has kind of proven that a 1250 can actually uh, hold the pattern for longer. So at distance, it might even be a really good option. And some competitors who like the 1300 because of the speed would be able to shoot a fast shell, but still remaining on a very soft recoil, which yeah. is awesome. Because, yeah, I mean, absolutely. A lot of the 1300 feet per second on the market are pretty tough on the recoil. Yeah. And this one is, to me, it feels like probably a low 1200 regular shell because of the golden hole. For yeah. me, it's that muzzle jump. Yeah. And I think a lot of those on the market, you know, you're getting a lot of muzzle jump. Yeah. And and it, and, it, and again, that's a that's a form of recoil, and it, and it's just going to eventually just start taking targets from you. Yeah. And and you're thinking something's wrong with your game. For sure. Yeah. So yeah, but this uh, 1300 round is pretty awesome. I've shot yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. I mean. And, um, so I think either shell is going to be a great choice yeah. for a shooter. For sure. Yeah. The 1300. I've shot some phenomenal scores with that um, here at the Gator Cup two right. two years ago. I got to shoot 100 with that shell. And I love the 1300, but I think, like what you said, with minimizing muzzle jump just a little bit, um, hopefully over the long run, it'll it'll give you some targets. You right. know, in the international games, every time they've gone from ounce and an eighth down to one ounce, down to seven eighths ounce, the scores have eventually gone up uh, because less recoil. And I think. Hopefully that'll happen in our game as well. I'm excited about this shell now. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Especially for shooters that have trouble flinching over many years of shooting high recoil shells. I think this soft load will be really good for them as well. Yes, sir. It's awesome. All right, guys. With BMP.